Valdemar Johansson. This is his uh, feature length directorial debut. Uh, Lamb, which is an A24 film that I had early access to. Um, I just watched it uh, about a day or two ago, and it stars Naomi Rapace as the main character, Maria, uh, with her husband, Igvar, and, um, and then there's uh, the brother, Peter. And these three characters are like the main characters in this film. They're taking care of the farm, they're tending to the sheep, and then one day, all of a sudden, when they're helping some sheep give birth, all of a sudden, Ada pops out. Okay, and then literally like whole minutes go by and we only just see fucking Ada's head and nothing else. And then uh, slowly it's revealed that uh, Maria and Igvar, uh, they begin raising Ada as one of their own, as if it were their daughter. Because Ada has a human body but her head is the head of a lamb. It's like, unfortunately, you know, the movie from afar, it has all the ingredients that would make someone like me be like, oh, I want to see that. I'm going to love that. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Unfortunately, I really, really, really did not like this movie. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm so sad to report. <laughs> First off, everything that I filmed at the beginning of this review, this is me mimicking Maria and Igvar as they're tending to, to the farm, as they're tending to the sheep, okay? Literally, think about what I'm telling you. Literally, the entire first, like, 30 minutes of this movie is essentially what you saw at the beginning of this fucking review. Okay? Literally, Ada does not show up until fucking like 30-ish minutes into the film. It literally takes about 40-ish minutes just to see her walking around. Like, there's just one time when the couple, they wake up and fucking Ada's gone and she's like run off somewhere. And it's just like... I cannot believe that the entire, like, first chapter could function as a fucking sh silent film. <laughs> and, and not in a good fucking way, alright? Like, they're, they're just attending to these fucking arbitrary, like, extremely mundane tasks. The first half of this movie is so fucking boring that I, I almost was just like, dog, have, have I walked into the wrong movie? <laughs> what the fuck? And then Ada shows up, and sure, there's some creepy shots, but no, nothing's really fucking happening. It's, it's just this, uh, this dumbass couple. First off, this might be the dumbest fucking couple of all time. This might be one of the, the top stupidest fucking couples I've ever witnessed. Who in the fuck? Okay, pulls out that from a fucking sheep and thinks, oh, I know, let's fucking raise it. Okay, let's let's raise her like she's one of our own. You know what? She's got to be my fucking daughter. You know what? Let's go get her some little tiny fucking hoodies and, and, rain, bo and rain boots and fucking dress her in clothing. Okay, let's start giving her a bath. Let's like, what? What? How fucking stupid do you have to fucking be, okay? How fucking slow do you have to be to fucking look at that and be like, Oh, I know. Look, look what nature gave us. Hey, baby, let's, let's go raise, let's go raise this new child of ours. Let's go raise our new baby girl. That's my baby girl over there. Jesus fucking Christ. And, 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 and again, when, when Otis shows up, we like, we barely even see her. And then when we finally start to see her walking around and shit, it's just like, uh, uh, okay, am I supposed to be afraid? Am I supposed to be disturbed? What the fuck am I missing? <laughs> and then the brother, Peter, arrives. The, the, like, the only nigga, the only nigga with, with any form of common sense to him, right? And, like, he's fucking, literally, there's a moment dead ass where Peter's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Literally, once we got about 45 minutes in, or about like an hour and 20-ish minutes in, I was just like, dog, what is this movie? Most of this movie 
it's just like dead space, okay? Most of this movie is just fucking Naomi Rapace and her fucking husband walking around with fucking confused looks on their face and like somber fucking facial expressions. Most of this movie is fucking dumbass Ada fucking uh, retardedly fucking like, like skipping around and be like, and just like running by and being like, uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> How the fuck has this movie been on for over an hour? And nothing substantially has happen happened. Like there's there's nothing super creepy about this movie. There's nothing super scary about this movie. There's there's nothing super disturbing about this movie. There's nothing like mind blowing or trippy about this movie. Most of this movie is meandering. Most of this movie is boring. Most of this movie is trying so hard for me to fucking gas it, and it's like, bro, there's not enough there for me to go crazy about. Like. If, if somebody was going to be like, yo, this is my favorite movie of the year, I'd be like, how? <laughs> Based on what scenes? Like, goddamn, man. Like, you could literally sum up this movie as, like, tending, tending the farmland, uh, uh, arguably eerie animal-human hybrid shows up and just starts walking around and, like, waddling around. And then uh, there's one re revelation at the end. There's there's some blood uh in credits <laughs> and it's like that's it that was the movie so i i don't know i mean may maybe when you see this movie you'll love it maybe when you see this movie it'll be like a new horror classic f for you somehow but i've unfortunately i just found this movie to be really really disappointing um for me personally i'm feeling a four a 4 out of 10 for this one. Uh, what the fuck? From afar, this movie seems like a new masterpiece. Like, this this movie should have been, like, like the weirdest, you know, one of the most shocking movies of the year. And instead, it's just a fucking snooze fest.